Good morning, everyone. Yesterday was a crazy day here in Southern California. It was lightning. It was thunder. There were thunderstorms going on. You know, it was just weird. And then, of course, you have um, Facebook and Instagram shutting down. Everyone freaking out over that. Like, really, guys? Come on. Can you go without Facebook and Instagram for a few hours? I mean, it's not going to kill you that there's no social media for a few hours. But we adjusted. We made it through. Um, and we saw a pretty good football game last night. Between the Raiders and the Chargers. Now, the Chargers are for real. It's time to give this team some respect and take them really, really seriously. You know, right about now, they are favorites to win the AFC West. I don't see why they wouldn't be. I mean, you know what? They they are in conversation to win the division. They should, you know, if they continue to play like the way they have. And I know they have a small fan base now since they moved to L.A., a lot of people don't give them the attention that they deserve. But this is a really, really good football team that a lot of people is overlooking. And we saw that last night with the way they played against the Raiders. I think the Chargers are the favorites to win the AFC West. Their odds to win the division has improved immensely. After last night's performance, they have a talented roster highlighted by Justin Herbert, who has, by the way, thrown for 200 and 20 straight pass attempts um, without an interception. That's very impressive. Um, it shows you that he is a quarterback who is making big steps in the National Football League, that he has the potential to be great in this league, and he has shown flashes of brilliance. And I think he has improved year in and year out and he has elevated everyone else around him. He has made that offense better. But you also have to credit the Chargers offensive line. They made life easier yesterday for Austin Eckler. Austin Eckler was simply amazing yesterday. That running game came on strong for the Chargers. Uh, he had 81 yards before contact, which was a career high for him. Very impressive. Um, I think this Rams offense will determine how far... I think, excuse me, this Chargers offense will determine how far this team goes. But you can't dismiss what the defense has been able to do. This defense has been a monster. I mean, the Chargers held the Raiders scoreless in the first quarter. The Bolts defense forced a turnover on downs on a fourth and third attempt at the Chargers 37 yard line in that first quarter. Um, the Chargers defense held the Raiders to just 51 total net yards in the first half. How incredible is that? And you saw Raiders quarterback Derek Carr kind of cave under pressure. Um, you know, and that's because the Chargers defense was able to provide consistent pressure. Um, they were able to hit. Derek Carr. They were able, you know, to put so much pressure on him that he didn't really have a chance to be the quarterback that he's looked like, you know, all season long for, well, early in the season. Derek Carr has been sensational to start the season, but he met a Chargers team that has a terrific defense, and this team was just better all around than the Raiders. Need I remind you, they held them to 14 points. Nobody has held the Raiders to 14 points this season. This Chargers team definitely has a different DNA. Um, we're seeing it. It's a completely different identity. They are a well-rounded, complete team um, with an elite pass rusher, Joey Bosa. The defensive line has 17 pressures, four sacks. It was a great night for the defensive line. But one takeaway here is how well, again, Justin Herbert played. I mean, he didn't have his best stuff, but overall he had a, a solid effort out there. You know, um, he, he looks really, really good. You also have to give a lot of credit to Brandon Staley, 
He has brought a different attitude. He has changed the culture and has brought communication to that team. I think they know what's expected of them every Sunday um, when they take the field. You know, and the Chargers get their fifth straight win against a division opponent. The Chargers used to have a reputation of playing in close games and letting them get away. In this case, they were able to, you know, blow it open and hold on to the lead in the end, and they came away with the victory. So there's no question that this team is better than the Chiefs right now, and that's why I have to put them above the Chiefs because they're a complete team. The, the Chiefs are good offensively. Yes, they're led by Patrick Mahomes. They have all the offensive weapons in the world with Travis Kelsey, Tyreek Hill. Yes, but on the defensive side of the ball, they're not as good. They're not as good, and that's where they lack is on defense. But when you look at the Chargers, they have a complete roster. They have it on both sides of the football, offensively and defensively. And that's why I have to put the Chargers above everyone else in the AFC West. And that's why I think they will hold on to win the division. So to all the Charger fans out there, that was a good victory. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people, you know, are seeing a very good Chargers team. We saw it last night. It was on full display. We all got a, a glimpse of what the future looks like. For the Los Angeles Chargers, the team that no one wants to really accept here in L.A. And that's not everybody, but the vast majority here doesn't accept that team. And it's a real shame because the team is dominating right now. And they look like the best team in football, at least one of the best teams. Thank you guys for tuning in. You guys enjoy your Tuesday. Happy Tuesday to you all. You know, let's stay dry out there. I think it's going to be. A warm day today. I think it's going to be in the 80s. It's just been weird. You know, one minute is hot. Then you have all this humidity. It's crazy out here right now. The lightning and the thunder. I didn't even expect any of that last night. I didn't even see it coming. But, you know, you can't um, you can't discount Mother Nature. It, Mother Nature surprises you sometimes as it did last night. I'm enjoying my morning coffee as you guys can see. But um, I'm about to check out now. You guys enjoy the rest of your day. Be safe, stay positive, and do great things. Take care, everyone.